What's up guys? Graham here. Looks like I'm playing a little bit of physician action in this Warfront. And a disclaimer on that is that this is definitely my 2.8 build uh, that I ran physician with. So it's probably outdated. Uh, I'm very rusty at the build, that is for sure. So it's, it's probably not going to be the best gameplay of healer altogether. I mean... Take for instance, I just ran right into the front of the enemy team. I think at the time that I was recording this, I was just wanting to see, you know, play with the enemy team, just have fun with it. Not not be like top efficiency, but just, I don't know, have fun, I guess. So I ran out to the front and was like, target me, target me kind of thing. And you see right off the bat, I, I marked the healer, or, or the tank, should I say, not the healer. But uh, the tank is... Somebody that you've got to let people know about because I'm such a big advocate on tank hatred in war fronts and that is because I believe that a tank is only good if you're playing against bad players and I, I know what you're thinking, you know it, in every PvP situation everybody seems to think that they're playing with bad players You know everybody's a newbie except for you, you know that kind of thing, but With tanks that's all that they're targeting is bad players because whenever you go into a war front the whole point of that tank is to take damage and Nobody should be targeting that tank. People should be targeting that pyromancer back there that is blowing people up or the inquisitor or marksman that's stripping people's buffs or whatever, you know, or the healer that's keeping that entire team alive. There are so many good targets to take and then you got that tank out front and people are actually targeting him. You're like, what are you guys doing? I just, I, I literally just had a war front probably... Uh, man 20 minutes before I started recording this uh, the audio for this video and somebody was marking the tank with a skull and everybody was targeting the tank and I'm going what are you guys doing this is a guaranteed loss if you guys are gonna play like this and I, uh, I actually you know I had to start typing in Warfront chat and say guys do not mark the uh, the tank with a, a skull. Mark him with a shield so everybody knows not to target him. And people continued to target him. So, naturally, I kind of looked at my team like they were not very good players and they were the cause of my loss. But that's how it goes. You know, tanks victimize people that are not used to PvPing or do not know what they're doing. And But, you... I'm somebody that comes into Warfronts, I want to give my team the benefit of the doubt and believe that they are not going to target the tanks. I want to believe our guys know how to fight players, but that's not always the case. Um, another, <laughs> another thing that kind of happened today was there was a guy running around with 120,000 hit points or something like that. and. Oh boy, I'm about to die. Yeah, I had a reaver and everything chasing me there. There was no way I was going to live that. Yeah, I'm, I'm even looking at the damage thinking, what the heck was hitting me, man? But yeah, it's definitely a reaver and somebody else. So, what was it, two reavers? Yeah, it was two reavers chasing me. What the heck, man? But, yeah, I mean, it, this guy had 120,000 hit points or something close to that. And I, I automatically flagged him as a tank and said, guys, quit hitting him, you know. And, uh, well, then I realized that he was a 61-point reaver. And I don't know if he put the last 15 points into a tank soul or something like that. But he was viral streaming me. He was uh, doing all this stuff. And he had 120,000 hit points. I was thinking, man, this guy has got to be ruined out in endurance runes. He's got to be doing all that. But that made me not want to target him. And it turns out I should be targeting him because he's not actually a tank. He's just got high hit points. Completely fooled me. Really tricked me on that one. So here we had a reaver running around that I wasn't killing because I thought he was a tank for a long while. But there's other situations that tanks have a little bit of usefulness such as uh, there's plenty of them that strip people's buffs 
There's plenty of them that do the pulls, which pulls are very good in Warfronts. But the thing is, is you can have pulls on, you know, uh, with a zero point uh, uh, Warlord build, you know. Just stuff like that. There, uh, pulls are really good, but you don't have to run tank in order to have it. And, of course, you got the tanks that sit at flags and, you know, sit there and just hit people. And I've had tanks where I can be in a full Reaver build and just DPS them as much as I can. And whenever I get them low, they always have multiple shields, heals, all this stuff that there's almost no way I can bring them down solo. And, you know, what's the point of hitting somebody like that? So, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm off my tank rant there. Uh, every time I mention tanks in a video, I get a lot of comments from people going, Man, tanks are amazing. What what are you talking about? I'm like, No, no, they're not. No. But uh, another thing that I want to talk about is healers here. Now, healers are kind of uh, an interesting situation because uh, naturally, I don't run too much healing. And you can probably notice that I'm not all that great at it in this video because I don't play it much. That's that's exactly why. And it's also an outdated build. I'm pretty low geared, you know. I'm I'm trying my best to gear up right now, and all that stuff. But you know, physician is a really good build for me to run because I feel real comfortable with it with the combo points and stuff. Because I normally run warrior that deals with combo points. And, of course, quite a bit of Rogue as well. Uh, whenever my early videos were going, it was very common to see me always running like a, a Warlord or Paragon Warrior build or a uh, Marksman uh, Rogue build. And that was like my main builds right there. So, combo point stuff is very familiar to me and I love running them. So, Physician is very easy for me to run generally, but it does take practice. And uh, another build that deals with the healing and combo points is, of course, Liberator. But I, I tried out Liberator and it seems so clunky of a soul because, you know, you use one ability and it gives you two combo points. You use another one, it gives you one combo point. You use another one, it'll give you three combo points it just seems so awkward to me and there wasn't a very good way of having rotations and stuff so whenever i was trying it out i was going man you know this is so clunky it just does not seem like a very fun thing for me to run i'm probably going to give it up if somebody doesn't uh show me the ropes on it so i you know i thought of who is known for uh running liberator and right off the bat i thought of naked stone you know, he, he's he's really well known for running Liberator. And so I hit him up and I said, hey, man, uh, how about you uh, show me how to run Liberator? I'd really appreciate it, you know, and if you do show me it and I can make it into a video and stuff, I'll definitely make it worth your while. And he basically said, no, no, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm sure he would answer questions and stuff like that, but he, he kind of had the stance that he was going to make a video himself, or not a video, but a guide, and he was going to do it himself, and, you know, whenever he got around to it, he would do it, but that was it, basically, and, uh, but that didn't surprise me too much, because Cupcake, he had the, some, the same stance, and of course, they're, they're, uh, I'll have never separated in the game so uh about a year ago i think it was i hit up cupcakey and i uh, that was whenever i was first learning sentinel and i said hey can you show me how to run sentinel i'd really appreciate it and all that stuff and she goes for you to make it into a guide and take all the credit for my hard work no i'm not going to show it to you i'll write a guide myself and that's basically what Naked Stone had told me just like, you know, two months ago. It was the same thing Cupcake he told me a year ago, basically. But he didn't put it in terms of you taking credit for my stuff. And, you know, I wanted to make sure that it's not like that. I would give them all the credit for a build. You know, any build video, uh, build video that I've done that somebody else has given me the souls, I always gave them credit. So it, it never was something like that. But uh, she said that she was going to write a guide. I don't know if she ever did write a PvP guide for Sentinel. Uh, 
after a year, I guess it was. And uh, so far, Naked Stone has not written a Liberator Guide, and that was a couple of months ago. Uh, but he was also voicing that he was getting tired with the game at that time, so I can definitely understand not having the motivation for it if you don't feel like writing one. But it kind of sucks because that, that was going to be the person that I would go to if I wanted to learn Liberator from somebody that runs it at the top of the line in the game. And so I started uh, just recently I got into a Warfront and uh, Cory Monster was in there. Cory Monster is, of course, uh, somebody that has been a big follower of my channel. He's been very nice every time that I've dealt with him and uh even help me go through some nightmare tide uh experts and stuff whenever i hardly ever ran them and stuff like that and of course he's in the the guild undaunted which is a top rating guild on wolfsbane not not quite a guild that's doing like uh you know server for well should i say uh you know world first or anything like that but they are definitely a very very good rating guild and he's a part of them so I just recently seen him in a warfront where he was topping heels on the enemy team and he was playing Liberator. Uh, I'm thinking, whoa, okay, this guy is actually making the team win the enemies. They ended up beating us by like 50 points or something like that. It was a very narrow margin, but, it, you know, of course, him topping heels on the enemy team, he was a critical component of that win there. So I was thinking, okay, I might need to hit up this guy about Liberator, which I have yet to do because it just happened like, uh, you know, whatever, 20, 30 minutes ago. So I haven't quite talked to him yet, but uh, I'm definitely going to try to hit him up about Liberator and see if it's something that he can make more sense to me than what it, it seemed to be whenever I was doing it before. Oh, it looks like our team is about to win this match no no okay it looks like our guy is stealing the stone on the opposite side and it'll be very rough for him to try to get past all of those enemies before they kill him and make him drop the stone but maybe he can pull it off maybe so that's kind of what's going on but but healing souls is not a top priority for me right now uh, I'm actually uh, working on some other projects and like I teased in my last video uh, some other things are coming up soon so you'll get to see them shortly and also I'm wanting to uh, do some more platinum making guides I want to uh, I'm thinking about doing a harbinger guide since everybody is wanting to do harbinger I've got to hit up somebody that's very good at it in the game and learn it uh, of course, I want to learn it at the top of the line, as in, you know, who runs Harbinger as one of the best in the game and really knows their stuff because I definitely don't want to hit up somebody that says, yeah, I know a Harbinger build. I die most of the time at Warfronts with it, but I know what I'm doing. You know, that, that would be kind of rough, you know, saying that. I took I took all the advice from this guy. He usually goes 0 and 18, but, you know, it'll be all right. <laughs> Hopefully you guys uh, have some good Harbinger builds and are very good at playing it. Um, let's see here. The stats. Uh, I imagine I didn't top heals or anything. Let's see. Healing done. Oh, almost 1.3 million. That's, that's pretty good for me. Uh, I haven't healed in a long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me rambling. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.